All right, collectors, I recently did the entire 2002 1-75 collection of the Matchbox Basic Range, so you may have just finished watching that. This time, I'm going to do the 2001 model year. Now, it is important to note, and I will point those out when we get there, I am missing two. So I only have 73 out of the 75. I didn't even realize I was missing two uh, until I got all of these out and organized for me. But we're going to go in inverse order, starting with number 75. It's the Sea Rescue Boat, part of the Extreme Rescue Series. So there's this one. I am missing number 74, which is a Chevrolet Suburban, as you can see right here. I probably at some point will track down the two vehicles that I'm missing out of here just to complete the set. So skipping 74, going to 73. This is the airlift helicopter. This again uh, did appear in the 2002 set as well. You're going to see a lot of carryover into 2002 from 2001. There's that one. Here's one I like. This is the Rescue Crane, based on a mobile crane. And as you can see, it does spin 360 degrees and has one extending section on the main crane part that does go up and down. All right. Next up, we have number 70, which is the 2002 Jeep Liberty. Part of the Extreme Rescue series as well. So that's that vehicle. And then we have the other one that I'm missing, which is the number 70. That's the TV news truck, part of the Stormwatch series. So number 69 is the Humvee, once again, part of the Stormwatch series. This was also available in 2002 in green, but in 2001 it was in yellow. Back hatch back here opens. Sea Speeder. Little radar dish boat. Here's a look at that. Number 68. Number 67, the Land Rover Discovery. Again, part of the Stormwatch series. The livery on the door reads Stormwatch. It's a storm chaser vehicle, obviously. Here's an appropriate vehicle for that series. The Weather Radar Truck. Dish That Moves, number 66. Number 65, part of the Scuba Dudes series, the raft boat. The trailer uh, hooks up to the back of a pickup truck, and the raft is removable, and it also has an outboard motor. Very, very popular trailer back in the day. Number 64, the Submersible, once again part of the Scuba Dudes series. Number 63, the airboat. Interesting casting. Number 62, the hovercraft. In red, yellow, and black. Number 61, over under rescue boats. Again, part of the Scuba Dude series. And it's called Rescue Boats with an S because you see the orange submersible in the black in the back that is just molded into the casting it is not removable if the camera will focus there we go but as you can see there are two crafts there continuing right along number 60 concept one beetle with the volkswagen uh logo right there on the side of the door the wheeled envy series Another Wheeled Envy series, the Chrysler Panel Cruiser Concept. Interesting take on that, which, as we all know, would turn into the PT Cruiser. Number 58, Plymouth Prowler. A buddy of mine actually has a real one of these. He loves it. I don't. We'll leave it at that. Number 57, 2000 Chevrolet Corvette. Once again, part of the Wheeled Envy series in this burgundy kind of candy chrome color. Very nice. Simplistic. No decos on the side. Looks good. Here's another one that was very popular for this model year because in 2001, this happened to be one of the primary cars in uh, Gran Turismo 3 that came out that same year. This was the Dodge Viper GTSR Concept, number 56. So we're racing stripes. There 
happens to be an automotive connection to a lot more things than you may think. Number 55, Mission Helicopter, part of the Police series. The main rotor blades would extend out, and this tail section extends out as well. Cool, cool. Here's one I liked a lot. You don't see many of these uh, three-wheelers, hardly at all, in Matchbox anymore. This is the Police Battering Ram, this one in yellow. The water turret on the back moves, and so does this front battering ram. And actually, if you pull this out, the front part, it rotates the, watering tur the water turret on the back for crowd disposal. It's not a gun on that. It's a water turret. All right. A few more police vehicles in the series. We have Chevrolet Impala Police, number 53, for Westworth Village Police Department. have no idea if that's a real livery. Looks real. Police Trouble Tracker, which they later named the Troop Carrier, I believe, for 2002. Again, the uh, tarp portion is removable, and there is some detail in the bed of the truck. Number 51, Police Robot Truck. Door opens. I went into uh, pretty good detail on this in the 2002 video. I'll keep it short. You can actually see a little bit of it trying to happen inside the card, but this door deploys down. There's a little robot inside, and then the top dish folds up as well. So, pretty cool looking casting. Okay. Another police series. This is called Pull Over Ford Expedition Police, number 50. Texas State Patrol. Obviously, not the official State Patrol livery of Texas, but you can see the Texas State there, number 15. 49, Crown Victoria Police in the MBI Special Agents. So, uh, nice take on the FBI there with MBI. And it says MBI Special Agent on the hood. Pretty creative. Number 48, the Hummer. And this section does open up, and there's some detail inside. Number 47, Armored Police Truck. So another APC or Armored Personnel Carrier. This back section actually slides out. And what would a police collection be without a police motorcycle? Here it is. Cool fact about this, the wheels are actually rubber on this. Again, MBI livery on it. That would have been a cool series to keep going. I think that would have caught on, especially with the adult collectors. That certainly would have been interesting if they would have been able to keep that going. All right, start of a new series, Rescue Squad, number 45, auxiliary power truck. Again, I went in detail in the 2002 video. This is actually a Mack truck. And those lights on top come up and deploy. Love this casting, always have, probably always will. Wish it was still in the range more often. 44, Police Mobile Command Center. There's another good one. See this little blue circular device right here? That opens and closes the door. You can see the blue door. It's actually open right now. Pretty neat. 43, Ford F-Series Fire Truck. So this is obviously your uh, dive kind of rescue vehicle with a whitewater raft on top. You can see some detail, detailing in there. Not sure how well that's going to come up on camera, but it is there. And this comes off, and of course the whole section actually deploys outward. Another good casting. I don't know why they stopped doing. Number 42, Ambulance Rescue Squad. Rear doors open on this. Rear doors are plastic, they open. And I believe there's a gurney back there. Okay. 41. Radar search plane. Somewhat based on a AWACS plane. Okay, we're about uh, almost halfway through. Number 40, another favorite casting of mine. Part of the Earth Cruncher series. Uh, the cement mixer. Loosely based on a... Well, a little bit more than loosely. Loosely. 
based on a Oshkosh front discharge cement mixer or concrete mixer. This was the first edition for this. It appeared in the O2 range, and then I don't think we ever saw it again. I think it was there for two years, and then they got rid of it. 39, shovel nose tractor, which we periodically still see to this day, albeit with some changes and enhancements to it. Loader arm goes up and down. Oh boy, here's one I really liked as a kid. The Wall Eater, number 38. So this is based loosely on a demolition excavator. You can see the claw attachment. Uh, the two-part boom does extend up and down, again, for a dollar toy. And this is 2001, so I would have been 10 or 11 years old. This was a big hit with me. Brings back a lot of good memories. Number 37. Just the bulldozer, again, a vehicle with rubber tracks and no wheels underneath it, so the rubber tracks actually worked back then. And the bulldozer blade went up and down. This was the first edition for this. It was released in 02, just like the concrete mixer, and I don't think we ever saw this again. So just a first and second year release. Number 36. The inaccurately titled Road Roller Paver. It should be called the roller or road roller or compactor. It does articulate across the center pivot point and the drums do roll on it. Once again, part of the Earth Crunchers series. So that'll do it for the construction equipment. How about number 35, Sand Blaster series? There's a little bit of a crunch down on top of the blister. Uh, the Sand Speeder, so a dune buggy. I also talked about in the O2 video that uh, these have really kind of gained a cult follow uh, following in the diecast community, the Matchbox community, because these antennas, they no longer have those because they're a huge choking hazard. Um, I don't currently know, to be honest with you, what the going rate is, but there for a while these were going for ridiculous amounts of money because of the fact that they no longer made these with the antennas. I don't know if that's still the case. I haven't looked in a couple years, but I'm pretty sure that it is. There's no reason to believe why they would go down in value with that fact. All right, here's the four-wheeler. Once again, part of the Sand Blaster series. Pretty small casting overall. You can, you can tell that it takes up like half of the blister. Another casting that we really have not seen that much. How about a dirt bike? Simply called the dirt bike. Another one with rubber wheels. And a uh, metal kickstand, so this would actually stand up by itself. Nissan Xterra. So again, even back in 2001, when you were paying for a 99 cent car, it had the opening tailgate mechanism, and the canoes came off as well. So now it is in the moving parts series 20 years later, uh, but you're paying... You know, what are the moving part cars now? Like four bucks, somewhere around there. But uh, they had the mechanism back in the basic line, back in the good old days. Interesting tidbit for those that may not be aware of that. All right, 31, Volkswagen Beetle 4x4, moving parts on this, and it's the trunk. Yeah, well, you wait, wait a minute. You're thinking to yourself, that's the hood. Well, if you know anything about Volkswagen Beetles, the engine is in the rear, and the trunk is in the front. So, technically, the trunk opens. Kind of neat. All right, that was number 31. We're going to get into some fire apparatus now for the next handful. Flame Eater Series Dennis Sabre fire truck based heavily on a uh, European-style pumper or fire apparatus. Yes, that ladder is removable. I've always liked these Dennis Sabre fire trucks really has surprised me that they really never caught on here in the States. They're very versatile and really quite useful. Guess we're just simple-minded over here in the colonies. Anyway, number 29, Flame Eaters Extending Ladder Fire Truck from the Westworth Fire Department. So we had the Westworth Police Car. Here we have the Westworth Aerial Ladder Truck. Twenty-eight Chevy Tahoe Fire, based on a battalion chief vehicle. 
Another one of my favorites. This was the first edition or first release for this. The Fire Crusher, number 27. Again, I went into detail in, during the 2002 video, but this is based heavily on what we now know as the Quint Fire Apparatus, which serves five main purposes, two of which, of course, it has a main area ladder and a main pump with a water supply. If you're interested in learning more about Quince, you can utilize your favorite search engine and read about it. Kind of cool that back in 2001, they um, created a vehicle like this. Obviously, we all know what happened in 2001, but it was always interesting to me that in 2001, 2002, and obviously they have this all planned out a year in advance, but they pushed heavily the Hero City and the emergency service vehicles uh, for the year 2001. And again, we all know what happened in the world in 2001. So there was a lot of fire trucks, a lot of emergency vehicles, a lot of cop cars that kind of coincided when it took a, a dark day in history to remind the world just how important first responders are. So, interesting how well that marketing campaign worked out, if you ask me. Number 26, the airport fire pumper. like this one a lot. Definitely a day glow yellow airport firefighting scheme and that main tower monitor that does work and extend out. Number 25, 1998 Jeep Wrangler, part of the Sun Chaser series. Not real big on the colors that they chose for this, but I'm one of those people that likes a Jeep now and then. All right, number 24, the Wave King. Another boat. Here's a cool fact about this. See this guy on the skis? So he would attach to right here where this little peg thing is. So you can actually have him being towed behind the boat. Again, another huge choking hazard that wouldn't pass today. But uh, back in the day, it was awesome. Here's a little bit of an error because it's kind of packaged the wrong way up. Ford Explorer Sport Track. Love this truck. Always have. Thought this was going to be my first real vehicle. Uh, I just have always loved this truck. Tailgate goes down. The little guarding in the back also folds down. Pretty sweet casting. 22. Another Jeep. The Jeep Grand Cherokee with raft boat. Again, you can take the raft off. Sun Chasers series. Waiting for my leaning tower of matchbox to just come crashing down in the middle of this video. You've been warned. Number 21, Moby Quick. I like that original name. That's funny. Sun Chasers. Another boat. A boat's a boat. Okay, down to the last 20. We press on. Number 20, Street Cleaner. City Dude series, based heavily, as I said in the 2002 video on an Elgin Pelican Street Sweeper. Number 19, a refuse truck, garbage truck in Fort Worth livery or inspired livery. have no idea if that's the official garbage truck or refuge truck livery of Fort Worth, but looks good in red, white, and blue. This was a hugely popular model. You could hardly ever find these in stores, and uh, I believe they're extremely popular to this day. Number 18, the Postal Service Delivery Truck. This thing got all the detail. You can see it's detailed on both sides, detailed on the back, including a fleet number, and there, the door is open on the other side as well. Number 18. One of my favorites, number 17, International Armored Car, the Money Mobile, Moving Money Worldwide, fictitious livery, but again, based on an old International 4900 series armored truck. I say old 90s era we're talking about. It's not really that long ago. Number 16, School Bus, City Dudes, Burton Hill Elementary, Buffaloes. Heck yeah. Uh, there's a buffalo on the back. 
And the door here, the main entry to any school bus, does open. You can see that little plastic dial. You move that with your thumb, and it opens the door. Number 15, 1956 Ford Pickup Highway Heroes Series. Mr. Timberman's is the company on it. Number 14, flatbed truck. So this was the predecessor to the uh, transport, the rollback transporter that we have today in the Matchbox line. This one I liked because it kind of resembled more of an um, Isuzu cab over truck that you would have seen during this time period. Yes, it's a fantasy cab or fantasy casting, but it looked a lot more realistic. Uh, Auto Club Unit 2 is what it says on the door, and yes, this whole thing actually tilt back, too. Pretty nice functionality. Number 13, Ford Dump Truck. More of like a contractor's truck. Number 12, VW Transporter. Highway Hero Series once again. Number 11, King Toe, Auto Max Crash 00-207600. Okay, getting down to it, last 10. Got to move it a little bit closer. All right. Number 10, Helicopter, part of the Team Tundra sub-series says res q 26 on the side number nine land rover free lander never ever was a fan of this land rover don't like it number eight snowmobile mini wheels underneath the track part of the snowmobile Number seven, Chevrolet Silverado 4x4 pickup truck. 22 on the side, fast ride snowboards. The company that this is advertising. Here's the first release for this one, the Snow Doctor. Obviously a half-track-like vehicle that uh, you would find on the ski slopes. All right, last five, here we go. And they are all cars. Number five, Dodge Viper GTS, part of Daddy's Dreams. A little wild with the decos on the side. Racing stripes on top. Here's a nice simplistic one. Factory paint job. Number four, Audi TT Roadster. There you go. Number three, 1999 Ford Mustang Coupe or Coupe. White, red and blue stripes, Mustang on the hood. Most likely a, a 98 to 99 style body style. All right, this one's cool. Number two, the BMW 850i. It's cool because it's a Beamer, but it's really cool because the door's open on this. Again, dollar casting, keep that in mind. 20 years ago. Number one, Concept One Beetle Convertible, and the last vehicle in this series. That concludes the Matchbox 1-75 to collection from 2001. Again, I don't have two of the ones in this set, but uh, again, that gives you a basic unboxing and overview of almost every vehicle from 2001. Again, I encourage you guys, if you haven't seen the 2002 edition of this video, go ahead and check out the link right here, and you can watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and hit the like button. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos. I think I have a couple more years of uh, Matchbox sets buried somewhere in the storage unit. So let me know. It gives me the motivation to do this and obviously it creates some great content for all the collectors out there. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.